I can't see a fucking thing on my sat nav. I like to do this at the end of um, end of a ride now, is get back on my R3 and just feel feel the difference again. And the gearing feels a lot smoother on this. You can actually feel it get clicked in and things like that. And the bike actually feels smoother itself. Feels a lot more stable in the corners. Rear set's a little bit further back. Everything's a little bit more sportier because, well, that's how the way I've set it up. Which one would I have? It's a hard question, actually. They're very, very similar. If I had gone from my Duke 125 to a Duke 390, I would have been happy. I wanted a change. I wanted to go into kind of sports bike so i went with the r3 and um i haven't really looked back like i've loved the r3 so much honestly i think i would take the r3 because it is that little bit more smoother and it just feels a little bit nicer to ride so right now we are heading to chu valley lake i've got no idea how to get there from cheddar so i've got the sat nav going i didn't get to see the cheesy knob though i got too distracted by the ktm so unfortunately i'll have to save that for another video guys what a nice day it is though I'm glad it turned out like this. This morning I woke up, I was going to be sat inside all day editing. Instead, I've got to come out and enjoy the weather. That's what I like. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Let's let those cars go ahead. Yeah, see, the, the R3 doesn't feel as powerful. Then I just was like, come on, where's the power? Where's the power? Because the power on this isn't until, like, the maximum power on this is until 9,000 revs, which is way up there. Well, the Dukes is like 6,000, 6, 7,000. So that's fucking definitely one up for the, uh, the Duke 390. The Duke 390 is very, very low down, very torquey power. Well, mid mid range, this is very high up. This is very, a lot more linear power. You pull on the front and it goes. I love this corner. We're going too slow. as hell so i'm sorry about that but this is nice a few inches later it wants us to go down that tiny little lane <laughs> okay bruh bruh nah <laughs> um do we or do we not i know right ah fuck it are we good yeah I didn't really want to get my R3 dirty. Er. Ah, it's not too bad. I just don't want to get all my stickers wet. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is not what the R3 is built for. Cheers, dude. I just put these stickers on. I didn't want to get them wet already and peel off. <laughs> This is on to a main fucking road. No, it's not. It's not a fucking country lane. Oh my days. Oh, this is just gonna get worse and worse and worse. It's looking a little bit better. <laughs> oh, jokes. Hey, 
aquí, ve. So we've just been chilling there for a while, heading back out now. There's some nice roads around here. Oh, that was nice. Some nice corners. But this is pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more. Hit that bell button for all the notifications you'll ever need. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Peace out.